Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Paper Mario The Origami King. Last time we left off, we defeated Hole Punch. It wasn't too bad, although I was a bit confused about what exactly I needed to do for a second. But it's sunny again. Wow, the sun's back where it belongs. It's so bright, like we're in an actual desert. Professor, what's the matter? I've got it. The sun was the key all along. Come, we must get to the sun altar right away. Okay, so we're gonna go to the sun altar now. I mean, I didn't really know much reason to do it besides to follow up on Toad's uh, interest in it, I suppose. Because, uh, yeah, we didn't really have a vested interest in going there because the streamer wasn't there, but I guess we should go ahead and follow up on it. Why is there a Bone Goomba here now? They weren't there before, right? I don't believe they were. Scorching Sandpaper Desert. Almost ran over that toad. Poor toad. Alright, so now we can finally come over here and follow up on this. All righty then. Just as I suspected. Look at this, you two. The altar has opened up to reveal some kind of entrance. This may contain what I have been seeking, proof of the Ancient Ones themselves. Yes, it all makes sense now. You performed the ceremony with the sun incense. But the sun itself was missing. Now that it's returned, the path inside has revealed itself. Oh ho, wait until they hear about this back at the university. I expect registration for my spring semester courses will be at an all-time high. I'm not sure what the professor is talking about, but I'm sure glad he's so happy. Oh well, it's all thanks to you two, of course. This may have remained sealed forever if you hadn't been able to return the sun to the sky. Now then, let's hurry inside. I'm certain we'll find even more to celebrate, perhaps even a solid lead on the legendary Captain Teod himself. If you say so. I guess we're going into the Sun Temple. I wonder if this is like a full dungeon, or... Let's find out, shall we? Uh, hey guys, is it absolutely freezing in here, or is it just me? I thought we restored the sun, why is it so chilly in here? Ah, I can explain. Although we are in the desert, we have now descended below its surface, where the sun's warming rays can't reach us. Actually, the mere lack of sunlight cannot explain this degree of chill. I retract my explanation. My word, what in the name of peer-reviewed study is that? Um... It's ice! A huge chunk! That's why it was so cold, Professor. I get it now. Well, look at this. This... The refrigeration technology on display is more sophisticated than I could have ever imagined. Mother of graduate students, there's someone in there! Hmm, judging by the distinctive red spots in that unmistakable cloak, could it be? It's Captain Teod himself! He's really real! This is no mere clue, it's the real deal! I must excavate the site and save him immediately. Hmm, there's a collectible in here, you say. Where would that be? I want that tin, thank you. Let's break all the pots. Uh, of elemental power. I mean, it might be once we break all the ice that we can access whatever collectibles in here. So let's just do this. <clears throat> do your thing, Olivia. <laughs> yeah, you better run, Toad. Who is this? Some sort of magician toad. He's not moving. Oh, I hope he can be revived. Maybe he's just stiff from being frozen for so long. Poor guy. Should I try heating him up with fire again? That won't be necessary. Burn not paper with fire, lest ye yourself become singed. He's alive! And he speaks the same language as us. Kind of. Allow me to introduce myself. I am indeed the Toad, known as Ode. Captain T. Ode, to be precise. 
I have survived the interminable passage of eons here in this Arctic prison. Now I am free. Captain T-Ode? Of course. Mario, Olivia, I think he means Captain T-Ode. At last, I can finally say I've met a real ancient one myself. Now then, down to serious academic business. There is a simple question that has plagued researchers and archaeologists for time immemorial. Now in this historic moment, I have the opportunity to go directly to the source. What an occasion! Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> I get that reference. We have studied the diet of the ancients based on artifacts and oral traditions in the region. But there's one thing that has us completely stumped. How did you take your coffee? Cream and three sugars. Three sugars? It's beyond my wildest imagination. What a breakthrough. You, you ancient ones have probably forgotten more about coffee than we will ever know. My work here is done. Wow, coffee with three sugars. You must really like sugar. How interesting. No, oh, I guess it's not that interesting. Anyway, why do you seem so sad, Mr. Captain? Is it because you were frozen or did something else happen to you? In this moment, I am as a bird in a cage. I yearn to sail free at the helm of my merino underneath the great cresting waves. Did you say merino? Did you know- do you know about the Super Merino? That's so weird, how did you get in the musée already? So my Merino rests in a musée, as you call it. It is no place for her adventurous spirit, she yearns to break free. You have my thanks, strange one. I know what I must do. And off he goes. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's headed to the musée. He, he sure seems to care about the Merino. It was hard for me to understand anything he was saying. I guess that's ancient language for you. Ahem, sorry to interrupt, but I haven't made an archaeological discovery in over five minutes. I'm just kidding. A little academic humor, oh ho. Thank you both for all of your help. You've made my dream come true. No, we should be thanking you. You were such a big help in the desert, Professor. So, thank you. Now then, should we head out and try to find the next streamer? What's all this about the purple streamer in the Great Sea? What's the Great Sea? Where is it? Maybe someone back in Toad Town will know. Should we go there? Yes. All the toads here have been collected. Unfortunately, there's apparently a collectible treasure in here that I just have no idea how to get. Wait, what was that? Is that just the sound of me hitting the snow? Must be. How do I get up here? There must be a way to get up there because there's a block. There we go. Okay. Boom. Aha! There it is. Cool. Dimple Shroom statues. And now that's 100% of everything in the Scorching Sandpaper Desert. Hey! Wow, we did pretty well in this area, I'm not gonna lie. Cool, cool. So... Now what? Okay. Yeah, I guess we go back to Toad Town now. So this probably means Professor Toad is not going to go with us. So we will unfortunately be leaving him behind. Sadly. Ow. Uh, hi, giant paper macho Koopa Troopa. Enter the warp pipe? Yes. Phew. I've recorded a very long time today. I think this is my fourth hour of recording. Yep, we don't have uh, Professor Toad anymore. It makes sense because you, you need him in the desert in case you miss some of the collectibles you have to dig up there, so it makes sense he just stays in the desert. Ah, Mario, we have some new pieces on display. Do, do please view them at your leisure. I thought he was coming here for the Musée. I mean, the, the, the Super Marino. Uh, I guess not. Alright, let's go see if the accessory shop has anything new, and we can probably also check in at the battle lab as well. So... Over here... Do... Da... Dee... Da... Visit the sensor lab on Picnic Road. Okay, cool. So they have something new for me there at the sensor lab. You got anything? Fun funky... Ooh. Gold time plus... Yeah, I'll buy it. There we go. 
And that's all your accessories. Thank you kindly. And that's it. We're sold out. Don't worry, we'll restock. Blah, 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 blah. I say the same thing. Okay. Boom. Fantastic. All right. So now... Um, it doesn't say the Battle Lab has anything new. The Hidden Block Unhider? Ah. I see. It doesn't say that the, uh, that place has anything new, so... I guess we should go get the Hidden Block Unhider. Which would just be through here. And then we just gotta go to the first zone. Yeah, we're definitely making our way through. There's only three areas left. This is quite a bit longer game than I imagined. Not gonna lie, but I also am going for 100% and kind of scraping every environment, so I'm not going as fast as I could be. So I suppose it makes sense. Ah, this this takes me to Overlook Mountain. Oh, geez. Uh, no, I'm just trying to get back to the sensor lab, guys. Please ignore me. Ignore me, please. Thank you. Yeah, I guess these are my next areas I'm gonna have to be running back through to uh, collect everything, but hey, now we have the hidden block on Hider, which will help. Although, I do kind of like just finding the hidden blocks. It's uh, neat. Although, if there were ever any that really, really stumped me, I could use that. So that's nice. Oh yeah, I could have just taken that orange pipe. Shit, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot that's where this actually goes. Long last, my opus is complete. My work has reached its zenith. My hidden block on Hyder will turn nearby hidden blocks into regular unhidden blocks. We've taken this paradigm and hurled it into the lake of progress. Be gone, paradigm. Hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer. Uh, do I have to do that? Do I have to? Yeah, I have to for him to give it to me. Okay. Do you like to test? Yeah. So we have to get a tutorial on this before. You ready to learn the secrets? Yes. Device on your head looks familiar. Hidden block and hider sheds its design with a toad radar. I shall alert you when you're facing a block. If you get closer, it'll give you stronger and stronger reactions. Then j try jumping right there. Aha, a hidden block has appeared. Welcome to the visible world, you slippery cube, you. When you know you're close, a simple jump or swing your hammer should do the trick. Like our other devices, the battery is going to run out sooner or later. Just keep an eye on the meter. Okay, let's hunt for some blocks. Find the hidden blocks before the battery runs out. I mean, one is obviously right here. And another one... Right there. Okay. Okay, so there's one in the center there, probably. Yep. Smack. Uh... Okay, there's one under you. Is there one right here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's one here for sure. There we go. Um... Okay, there's that. So where's another one? Okay, there's one up there. One right here. Can you make that? Okay, there you go. There's another one somewhere. Okay, over there. Where are you? Oh jeez, I fell off. Um, okay, it must be up there at the top, I imagine. Gotta hurry. Time's gonna run out on me. Yeah, it's over here. Yep. Uh, or is it? Is it smack? Um. Oh, do I? Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, I don't know. For some reason, I didn't think I was supposed to jump on the other one. Incredible, Mario. There isn't a block in the world that can outwit you now. Yeah, that'll probably prove helpful sometimes. We have shifted every existing paradigm. A new every era of superior sensory apparatus is dawning. You know what to do, Mario. Take the hidden block and hider with you. Find every question mark block out there. 
Most importantly, if it explodes, do not tell anyone. I've already sent some rather boastful faxes. There we go. My work is finally complete, so now what? I guess I could find a new hobby? Maybe I'll learn how to fold origami. Can I charge? This is a charge thing, right? Preparing charge. Yeah. Yeah. I needed uh, the toad radar charge back up at least. I thought we would do it while we were over here. Alright, so now we can just take the orange teleport pipe back rather than take the long way around like I did before. I honestly thought the pipe came out here that takes you to the first area, not Overlook Mountain. Alrighty. Now with that little bit of uh, work done, we can actually go to the new area. Okay, and the pier was, yeah, down this way. So we can probably talk to the boat captain over here, and he'll be like, Oh yeah, the Great Sea, let's go. Because Olivia wasn't here when we did this with Bobby. Shall we set motor for the Great Sea? Yes. Apparently there was a collectible in the Great Sea, too, that we never got. I'm not sure how I would go about getting that. Remember there were those fish I ran off that one time. Wow, the Great Sea is so big. The breeze feels so good. Why does it smell so salty? It's so endlessly big. The only word you could describe use the, the, to describe it is epic. Jeez, mouth work. Well, that in great, I guess. Oh look, there's the purple streamer. What's it doing way out here in the Great Sea? Looks like it stretches out really far. The Great Sea is huge. We'd better stick close to the streamer so we don't lose track of it. Okay. Alrighty, so... Do we have like a map of this zone? I guess not. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we do, I guess. Princess Peach. There's a cheap cheap there on the left side. Princess Peach. We're still missing a collectible treasure there. We're missing some collectible treasures here, too, though. What do you say? Alright, got dropped it. Sploosh. A fat sack of precious coins right into the old drink. What are you doing, cheap cheeps? Where are you going? Come here, you. Okay, there's the peach. Some rocks in the water there. Yeah, I'm just trying to explore to see if there's anything interesting I can find around here. Oh, that gets us to a battle? Really? Oh wow, this is a lot of them too. Alright, this is our first battle. I guess we can show it. Although they're just cheap cheeps. Um... Well, that doesn't work, does it? Let's move you there. And you... here. And... shit, that didn't work. Um, okay, so let's move you here first. Then let's move you that, uh, like this. Wait, what did I do? Oh yeah, this. Shit, but that still screws this up. Oh well, we're just gonna go with that. I'm not, I'm not sure what I could have done differently there. There was probably something though. I mean, as far as I understand, every puzzle can be solved in one, so... Maybe some require like you to get toads to help or something. I like this particular remix of the battle theme though. This is also our first time hearing this battle theme, so... Use our shiny iron boots. I never did go buy more flashy boots. Or buy any flashy boots. I definitely have the money for it now. Oh yeah, I also need to go buy that collectible from the shop. Okay, yeah, we need to we need to do that as well, but I'll probably just get that one in the cleanup uh, that I do when I go back through that area. So we'll, we'll just grab that in another time. Because I know where it's at. I'll just have to uh, go and grab it. But there's no sense in going all the way back over there right now. 
Okay, so we gotta watch out for cheap sheeps. Maybe we should just go straight to where we're supposed to go. I don't think my collectible treasure thing works here. Oh, hello, Spike on an island. How are you? This fog is incredible, eh? Can't move forward if you don't know which way you're going. I read that uh, on a twist-off cap once, that bottle of juice was so wise. <laughs> Funny. Hmm. What now? I guess let's just go towards the streamer, like Olivia said. Go towards the streamer. Hello. Mario, look! The streamer dips into the sea. How are we supposed to follow it down there? Uh, beats me. I have absolutely no idea. That, that That's what I thought you were here for. Can we go through the fog? Whoa, a vast. Are we lost? This fog is unbelievable. Can't see through it at all. We just get lost in that mess. Better turn back before we get ourselves in trouble. Ah, oh, what a pain in the port bow. Wish we had a sea chart, then we can navigate through this haze. Say, speaking of sea charts, you two ever heard of the legendary Captain Ode? Legends speak of a legendary toad who moved beneath the waves and owned a legendary sea chart. Ah, but those are just tall tales. Not much truth behind them, I reckon. If only they were true. A sea chart like that might help us cut right through this blasted fog. Do you mean Captain T. Ode? We know that guy. He said he was at the Musée. Ha 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 ha, you jokers. That might be the most ridiculous fib I've ever heard. You met a legendary captain from ancient times and he's just hanging out in a dusty old museum? Ha! Huh. You're serious. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's head straight for that museum. <laughs> well, I mean, I went there before and he wasn't there, so I guess now he's there. We just had to activate that little trigger. Yes. Let's go see our good friend, Captain T. Ode. Phew, my mouth hurts because of recording for four hours today. My jaw is like, quit. You were never meant to talk this much. You're an introvert. Stop it. <laughs> All right, Toad Town. Oop, give me to walk over there. I really like the Toad Town music. Oh yeah, let's check with you and see if we missed anything. In this uh, precise moment, there's no love lost. Yep. So we've been doing pretty good on the HP ups. That's nice to hear. All right, through this door. Huh? I thought Captain Teod would be here to greet us. Captain Teod? You mean Captain Teod? He's, he's not real, you know. It's all just an ancient legend. Quite colorful to be sure, but imaginary. Hey, the sign says no piloting the merino. You're in direct violation of the sign. Ah, my precious merino. Still beautiful, still formidable, and yet time marches on. Hey, we were just talking about you. Oh, oh, hey, we were just talking about you. So did you find the, uh, thingy you were looking for? The sea chart. That's what it was called. Ooh, I hope you have it. What is lost may never be found. All that remains is a shattered reflection, like a teardrop in a pond. But yes, I have the sea chart. I propose a trade. Convey me and my vessels to the great sea and you shall have my chart. Sorry I'm late, but I think I heard everything while I was running in. You wanna get that rig to the great sea? I'm your toad. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. A submarine on a boat? Two famous captains? I can't wait. What about my exhibit? It's a star attraction. I can't curate something else out of thin air. Well, say goodbye to it. I like the little sea shanty being uh, sung in the background. Easy, keep her coming. Alrighty, you should be good to go here. You decide you want to rig up a few more out boots, give that vessel some real oomph, you call me. You have my gratitude. And you may now have this. The sea chart. Yay, thank you so much. I can't wait to adventure on the sea. Who knows what kind of amazing things we'll see. Whoa, has anyone ever arrived in those two words before? Sea and sea? Probably. 
And I must say, this whole situation with Captain Teode being real is what we in the museum call completely bananas. That said, there's no disputing the ancient texts. The Marino is yours, Captain. I wish you good luck and toad speed. And if you should choose to return to my humble museum at any time in the future, I will gladly offer you a personal tour. Farewell. Well, this is gonna be super. I'm just so excited that you all have called on me and my boat to help. And I can't wait to see what that submarine can do. Going under the water? What'll they think of next? Anyway, I'm ready when you are. Okay. Let us depart. Shall we set motor for the Great Sea? Yeah. Now we got Captain Teo with us. Fun, fun. The game just saved there, but I guess we can go ahead and get to where the streamer goes into the water first. Press L to view my C chart. Ooh. The red boat marks your current position. Check, uh... Check my sea chart as you go to keep from getting lost. It's mostly blank right now, but I'll add any new islands we discover along the way. Ooh! I've already mapped one island on the sea, menacing skull-shaped. I named it Bonehead Island. Bonehead Island is said to hide a secret tied to the fog surrounding the Great Sea. Let's start there. It's nine to down to dive in the submarine. If you dive in a suspicious spot, there's no telling what you'll find. Set a course for Bonehead Island. Make it thusly. Okay, so we can explore, like, this whole map. This is neat. I really like this. Huh. So I guess we should sail around everywhere. Ooh, there's a new island. Open up the sea chart? Yeah. This is like a little mini Wind Waker <laughs> adventure here. A square island. Curious. What mysteries await us there, I wonder? Cool. Well, this is neat. I'm really into this. This is gonna be fun to play, too. Alright, so what do we got here? Of course I'm gonna explore everything before going to the objective. Island of Combat, Scuttle Island. Battles await beyond this gate. Um... Hello? Welcome, Warrior of the Waves. The island is home to seven super powerful paper macho enemies. If you manage to defeat them, you shall be rewarded with coins, more and more with each victory. However, if your HP drops to zero, it'll be game over. You'll lose the round and all your hard-won coins. Use of mushrooms is forbidden. Consider your remaining HP carefully before continuing to the next round. Enough setup. The island demands combat. The first battle begins now. We probably get a collectible for doing this? Ooh. You have three of those? Round one. Stomping Sentry, Paper Macho, Goomba. Alright, well this is interesting. Like a little coliseum of Paper Macho enemies. Alright, there's one hit. Looks like they're the normal varieties. They just maybe move a bit faster and have slightly more health. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight the Pokey again. That one would be pretty hard. Aha! I've beaten you up. The Koopa would also be pretty dangerous. I remember having a hard time with the Koopa. Like, he hit me a bunch. I believe it was the Koopa. The Boo will be easy, though. And... Smash! Round one done. You win! 100 coins, prize total 100 coins. Cool. Continue battling? Yeah. Excellent. The island is pleased. Bring out the next opponent. Hi. Oh, just the shy guy? Okay, I don't think they were much... They weren't really that different than, uh... The Goomba, right? Hmm. Uh, smack? Yeah, they kind of just charge you and that's it. Oh, they do turn a bit faster, though, I suppose. Haha. Oop. Okay, so they do, like, one quick turn after the first one. So slightly more difficult. Oh, now he's really going crazy. Boom. It looks like they take six hits apiece. 
So we gotta be careful of that. They're pretty easy, in all honesty. It's weird that they have a, um... Coliseum for these. When it said Coliseum, I thought it was gonna be the... Like, an actual Coliseum of enemies with, like, puzzle battles. Not this. But hey, that's the second one down. 500 coins. Jeez. Yup. Let's keep going. Island is please. Bring out the next opponent. Oh no. You're the one I was worried about. Alright. See what you got. Swift Shelled Soldier. The only thing that sucks about these is they, they take a really long time because... Ow. Um... You have to hit them six times. Like, there's so many rotations you have to go through. Okay, so we just gotta keep moving to dodge you. And eventually you'll bounce. Yeah. Yeah, I remember having a hard time with you. You're a little dangerous. Ugh. And then you kind of bounce off too, so... You gotta be careful there. Yeah, I just wish they had less HP. Having to hit them as many times as you do is, uh... Rough. Aha! Nope. And... Uh, smack. Okay, at least he only took five. That's good. Alrighty. Continue battling? Alright, had to go to grab a drink. Excellent, the island is pleased. That's three down. Okay, you'll at least be a little bit easier. And I don't super have to worry about taking damage from you. The Ghostly Goliath. Alright. So, as long as I'm, like, looking at you... Come here, friend. Smack. Oh, uh, no. Ah. So, I... I, I wasn't actually looking at them, that was my problem there. So you do just have to stare at them, basically. Oh jeez. Okay, never mind. He stopped, finally. Hitting them is a bit rough. Because, yeah, they, they go away too quickly. Oh, no! Okay, do I have to, like, let you get really close and then stop you? Yes. That's the secret. Gotcha. All right, come on, and gotcha, and boom. Whoop. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> that was almost bad. All right, gonna come at me? Whoop. Oh, you're really fast now, Jesus. Okay. Gotcha. Ah, he went too fast. Jeez, that was really quick. Whoop. Gotcha. Big damage and big heal. 2,000 coins. Wow, we're gonna get a lot of coins from this. Continue? Sure. We're in it now. Excellent. What now? Paratroopa? Yep. Um. I don't remember fighting. Or, I don't remember how I beat this if I did fight it. I kind of vaguely remember fighting one, but. Let's just try running around for now. Ooh, that was close. Hmm. What do we gotta do? I gotta get him to hit the wall, maybe? No. Oh, I think I have to get, like, right in front of his path. And then hit him on the front. When he, like, lands. Yeah, ah! No, I got hit. Shit. Okay, um... Ah! Yeah. Okay, maybe we just have to dodge it right at the end of the dash, and then smack him on the front. Like, just barely dodge, and then... No, he comes out of his shell too fast. Um... The only other thing I can think of is get him to hit a wall, but that doesn't seem to be working either. Do we just jump on the shell as he's coming? Try that. I might just die here just because I don't know what I'm doing. No, that didn't work. 
Okay, maybe we just have to hit it as he's coming at us. Just come at me. Okay, that works. So that's what we have to do. Shame I lost as much health as I did trying to figure that out. Alright, it's not too hard. Now that I actually know what to do. Got it. Alright, not many more now, right? Smack. Now you're just a regular Koopa. Which is dangerous. But not overly dangerous. There we go. Whew. And we get a big heal for it, too. Glad I didn't die there. Paper Macho Koopa Paratroopa. That is a lot of letters. And words. Island is pleased. Alright, who do we got now? Uh, Spike? I don't think we... Have we fought one of you before? I think I've seen one, but I'm not sure I've fought one. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, so we can get HP from them. Neat. Okay. Smack. No? Smack? No. Oh. Uh... What happened there? Ow. Okay, maybe I should take some time to heal up here. Okay, that one didn't give me a heart. Okay, that one did. Yeah, let's just kind of grind up HP off of Spike here, I guess. While I try and figure out what the... Oh! Oh, okay. We hit him like that. And then we can run up and smack you on the face. Okay, cool. <clears throat> At least I know what I'm doing now. Ugh. Okay, this will be slightly harder. Yeah, they're much faster now. Eek. You're kind of difficult, actually. Uh... There we go. I guess I shouldn't really try to focus on getting the HP. I should just hit him when I can, but there is HP down here. Gotcha. And slap. All right, one more should do it. Okay, once I understood what was going on, he wasn't really that, ow, difficult. Thought I hit that. Ooh, I thought I hit that too. I'm guessing he's just putting them down super fast. Ugh. Okay. Oof, well we barely won. Jeez. Okay, that was what, number five? Continue, yeah. Excellent, the island is pleased. I think this is six. Hopefully I can flawless this one and not take a bunch of damage. That's a buzzy beetle? Oh no, round seven, Dark Destroyer. Okay, so this is seven. Okay, what do I have to do with you? Um... Uh, uh. Ooh, okay, that wasn't a bad. Okay, okay, we may be able to do this. He's gonna get faster though, right? Yeah. Uh, ow. Okay, we're a bit low on HP. Hurry up and get over there, Mario. Oh, hit him. You idiot! Why do you run so slow? Come on, you've been running and jumping your whole life and you can't you can't build up a bit more speed than that? Jeez. Useless plumber. Okay, I have two hits left. Come on, don't die here. Uh, just stay away from corners. Getting trapped in one would be bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Smack! No! Damn it! The stupid shitty range on my hammer. Just throw the damn thing, Mario. Uh, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. Smack! Alright. I think two more and he's down? Mario, don't you lose this for me, you little jerk. Oh, jeez, you're charging up hard. I can't make it. There's no point. Um... Okay. Ow! Damn it, I didn't think he was gonna bounce like that. Get over there. Please. Okay. Now, if I can just not get hit, that would be ideal. 
Uh, yeah, I... I wasn't... I, I'm not... I'm not taking the risk there. Let's just play it safe. Okay. okay. Uh... Go, 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 go! Smack! Yes! Yes, we did it. <laughs> oh boy. That was... That was scary. 31,000 coins. Warrior, you defeated all seven Paper Macho opponents. The island is most pleased. Take your well-earned prize. It better be a collectible, too, and not just cash. Check. All seven rounds cleared. You've won 31,600 coins. Okay, I mean, that's a lot of money, but... This island has a new champion. A trophy has been sent to your museum to commemorate this incredible victory. Oh. If your warrior tummy rumbles once more, you may return here to satisfy your hunger for battle. I hope getting a collectible doesn't mean I have to do it, like, without taking damage, because that sounds awful. It says there's no collectible treasures here, though, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and get back on the boat. Shall we ship out? Yes. Alrighty. There we go, and the game just saved, so I think we're gonna go ahead and take the opportunity to end this episode off here. I hope you've earned the Ring Champion Trophy. Cool. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King, and I will see you next time.